Hey, KZ Guy 2 here, no nonsense, no how. Today I'm gonna give you some very quick instructions on how to load my B7500 tractor on my car trailer. I'll also show you in the end of the video how to actually put this trailer and hook it up to the truck properly. So let's get started. Start by dropping your gates down. Take these and throw these forward and put your pins back in the hole right here so you don't lose them. Now you're ready to pull it on. Don't ever pull on or off of a trailer not hooked to the pickup truck. And make sure your tiller's up before you get on here. Set the parking brake. Now for the future, I'm gonna paint lines for where these front wheels come up to. Because essentially when you pull this tractor on, you want 10% of the total load here, including the trailer, to be on your tongue weight. So the way I do that is just kind of guesstimated, but I'll put some marks there for the future. Grab your two sets of chains in here. Throw one here, one chain binder, one bungee cord, and bring the other chain to the back. Hook one side through this D-ring right here. Loop it about yay far. Take the other end and put it through the D-ring on the on the draw bar here. Gonna pull the slack through and throw it to the other side. As you're walking around, put your tailgates back up. Other side through this D-ring. Slack out and hook it up. Now come back on the tractor, take the parking brake off, put a little forward pressure, like so, set the parking brake. Take the key, put it in the ammo can. Now since we use that method, our rear chain's already taut, we should only need one binder. Take this stick here that's stowed away with a magnet out. Take the hook in, push your chain all the way through. And you can leave the stick in there. Pull some slack through and hook it back on here on your chain. Now come to the other side, pull it taut, and same thing. Now some people don't like these buckle style binders, but I love them because they're quick. So take them, pull it like this, and this end stick in the bar, put that facing toward the tractor up this way. Hook one end on here, one end right here. Pull it kind of taut when you do that, and get one pull out of it. Now, since I pulled this on pretty tight, that's gonna be just about where I need it. I can feel it's got, it takes a good amount of force. Don't ever put a breaker bar on this or something to get extra leverage. It actually says it right on there. So make sure not to pinch your hand in here when you're doing this either. Boom. That's locked down nice and tight. Take a bungee cord. Hook it on the chain, wrap it around as an extra precaution so that that won't come loose. When you're hooking these on, don't make the mistake of, let's say I was hooking it down here, you don't ever want to hook on this side right here because then when you tension it down, this hook is going to be loose and can fall off. And so God forbid this one did unbuckle, you know, you, don't, you still want this to be hooked no matter what. If after doing the parking brake method to tighten the rear chain, you find it's still loose or you choose not to do it that method, I do have another binder in there. So you can go ahead and hook this one on the back just like we did the front and bungee cord it. One rookie move to watch out for is these D-rings. Make sure these are always flipped up because if you leave them flipped down and you tie it down, then you hit a bump, it'll flip up and it'll be loose. Also, after you take a few turns or hit some bumps, stop, go back. It's a good practice to make sure your chains are tight and everything's good. In fact, it's a good practice anytime you stop to check your load. You might be looking at my gate here. Yeah, somebody bent that the last guy using it, so I gotta take that off. I know it looks pretty pretty crummy right now. To hook up to my trailer, you're gonna need the two and five sixteenths ball. Get backed up to it. Unlock your master lock here and this skimpy little theft deterrent. Put this in the vertical position and reinsert your pin. Now lower it down. Once you get the jack most of the way up, Remove this pin right here, tilt this, and then slide this up until you get to the top lockout pin, and wiggle it back and forth. Should lock in there, just like that, reinsert this pin. Making sure this is fully seated down, lock down your coupler. Remove the key and hang it on this little hole inside the cover so it doesn't get lost. Now hook your chains up making sure to cross them from side to side. If you have to, you can twist the chain like this to get it up off the ground. Don't let them drag on the ground. Hook your seven pin up. Last but not least, your breakaway. Hook that right here to the shackle. Now you're locked and ready to go. 
When you're all done with the trailer, make sure you got both coupler locks on. This is locked in a down position. Not that that's really going to stop anybody who really wants the trailer. You got all the trailer connections and chains up off the ground, not sitting in the dirt. And the wire, uh, keep this you know, tucked under here out of the rain and the sunlight. And you got this front box locked, taking the key with you or giving it to me. And now you're ready to tow. Hopefully I didn't miss too much there and I got right to the point for you. Uh, keep in mind, once you get going, make sure to set your brake controller properly. We're not going to go into that right now, but usually start around 50%, depending on what kind of brake controller you have. And if you ever tow this trailer of mine empty, make sure to set your brake controller to zero, because if you hit the brakes when this thing's empty, and you got it at 50%, you'll lock up the tires and put bolt spots. It's happened a million times. Hopefully it helped you out. Give it a thumbs up if it did. Definitely appreciate that. Check out the channel, KZ Guy 2 No-nonsense, know-how, and y'all have a good day, evening, wherever you are. I'll see you later.